Hello everyone. My name is Ji Ming Huang. I came from Wuhan University. It's very nice to be here today. I'm going to introduce our work about graph topic neural network for document representation in this presentation. I'm going to introduce the work from the following four parts. First, I'm going to introduce the background of our paper. Learning no dimensional document representations is a critical and basic research task which has wide application on downstream tasks such as clustering, classification, and recommendation. Recently, graph neural networks, GNNs, have been widely explored in representation learning and information extraction of documents. However, similar to other neural networks, their resulting representations are difficult to interpret. On the other hand, topic models have has long been used to learning latent topic semantic representations of documents and are able to generate interpretable representations. Therefore, there are few methods incorporating topic models into GNs directly, which integrates the topic semantic structure into representations of GNs. They are able to use the latent topic semantic along with other graph structure semantic information in documents and generate interpretable representations in the latent topic space. However, we notice that there are remain problems. Let's illustrate these issues with the table and fix. The first issue here is that they only consider document word and word word relations as shown in the table. In practice, we also have a network of documents that are connected by some relations, for example, the citation. Such relations also provide useful information to the construction of document representations. An intuitive idea is that connected documents should bear similar topics. For example, a document cites another document precisely because they are typically they are topically related. It is thus important to leverage the connections between documents in building topic models and representations of documents and words. Another problem is that in these methods, the latent topics are extracted on the set of documents in advance without considering deeper information propagation of document world connections or document connections. The topics are thus only influenced by the words they contain or documents they directly connect. As shown in the feed, the upper shows the graph embedding process of the existing graph topic methods, which learns topics in advance with top models on unconnected documents. The lower part is our proposed method, different from their methods, which integrates topic learning into graph modeling so that the topics are influenced by the graph structure and the deeper information propagation of world world, world doc, and doc doc correlations. Therefore, to address the above issues, we propose the graph top neural network, GTNN. In this part, I'm going to introduce our method in detail. Our model take four semantic corporations in documents into consideration and unify topic and graph modeling, thus to extract interpretable low-dimensional document and world representations in a latent topic space. As shown in the fig, our method consists of three modules, graph construction, graph message parsing, and graph reconstruction. Let's introduce the graph construction first. Formally, let's assume D as a corpus with N documents and a vocabulary V with M words, which form nodes in our graphs. We consider three graphs as document road, document road correlation graph. Edges between documents are represented as a zero one adjacency matrix A. Edges between words is generated by positive point-wise mature information, PPMI, in our case. For example, 
We create a weighted link between two rows if their PPMI is positive. The document road index matrix X can be deemed as a bipartite graph preserving document road relation graph in which A's only exist between nodes of different categories, documents, and road nodes. We first apply a low pass filter on the document road graph X to filtering noises and preserving higher order document corporations. Based on these graphs, we propose a bipartite graph message passing BGMP to encode a deeper semantic relation structure in the corpus. We allow both intradomain and interdomain information propagation among document and world nodes. The intradomain doc message passing IAMP with GCN is used to propagate information to nodes of the same nature, for example, between documents or between rows. The hidden representations of document and rows can be yielded with the first equation. Based on the filtered document road by party graph, we then propose the interdomain message passing IDMP between document and road nodes, so as to explore indirect document road, document document, and road road relations as in the second equation. The final hidden representations of document D and road V at layer T are derived by the full process of BGMP while combining the first and second equation. To unify topic adherence with graph invading learning of document and word nodes, in addition to the above information propagation process, our model also aims to generate the given document vote by party graph X bar, document doc, document document correlation graph A, and word coherence graph C based on the derived latent document topic theta and latent vote topic beta matrices as shown in the generative process. Given the generative process, our model can be influenced by optimizing the joint reconstruction laws of generating documents as well as the document and vote networks based on the derived document topic and vote topic representations theta and beta. To further demonstrate the advantage of deriving topic learning simultaneously with document or world node representation learning and of exploiting richer semantic connections in our method, we conduct experiments in three different scenarios. Firstly, unsupervised text representation learning on connected documents. Secondly, semi-supervised text representation learning on connected documents. And finally, supervised text representation learning on unconnected documents. We first show the experimental results on unsupervised text representation learning on connected documents. We use four data sets from Coral following previous methods. We compare our method with autoencoders, relation topic models, and graph embedding method VGAE on document classification and clustering. We can observe that our proposed method GTN achieves the best performance in all tasks on the four datasets. Compared with autoencoders methods such as AE, DAE, CAE, VAE, KSAE, and KATE, which only encodes document contents with our document network, our method produces better performance considering the document correlation graph compared to VGAE, which also fully utilizes document network structure, ADE and our method performs better due to their further incorporation of latent topics. Although ADE consistently outperforms other baselines by jointly modeling document contents and network structures, our method still uses a significant improvement due to the deeper version information among documents. This difference can be also observed in topic coherence as shown in Table 4. GTN has a much higher topic coherence than the other topic models. Here we show some topic examples generated for the machine learning corpus in Table 5. 
the top 10 most important words for each topic are displayed. As we can see, these topics are strongly related to the categories and it correspond to strong to different aspects of them. They can be understood by a human reader. These examples illustrate high interpretability of the topics and thus the corresponding document representations in the latent topic space. We further present a visualization of learned document representations on machine learning datasets, points in different colors corresponding to documents in different categories. We can see from the fix below that the points are better grouped in GTO and ADE using topics than in VGAE without topics. GTN produces slightly better clustering than ADE. Next, we show the results on semi-supervised text representation learning of connected documents. We compared our method with classical and advanced graph neural network methods on three citation data sets. As we can see, our method retrieves the best performance on all three data sets. The performance boost can be explained by the incorporation of latent topic semantic structure in our method, as the compiled models follow a very similar approach otherwise. Finally, we show the results of supervised text representation learning on unconnected documents. We compare our model with classical neural network methods, such as LSTM, CNN, graph neural network methods, and also graph topic neural network methods. Compared with traditional methods, GCN-based methods, such as TextGCN, DHTG, and GTN, generally yields better performance. This improvement is attributed to the fact that the label information can be propagated while GCN-based document world and world world correlation. Compared with TextGCN, DHTG, and our method yield bad performance due to their incorporation of latent topics. GTN produces about 1% improvement compared with DHTG. This is due to the way that topics are determined in our method within the graph modeling process, while DHTG extracts topics separately. This confirms the expected advantage of extracting topics by leveraging the graph structure. In conclusion, in this paper, we propose a new framework named GTN which unifies GCNs and topic modeling for interpretable document representation learning. By integrating GCN and topic modeling in a unified framework, our model can embed richer structural information in the learned representations for downstream tasks. Experimental results demonstrated the effectiveness of our model. We attribute the superior performance to several factors. The use of topics the extraction within the process of graph modeling and the use of first order and the higher order correlations. This advantage should, could be further exploited for other types of graphs. In the future, we can further extend our model on large scale datasets and online learning. Moreover, lexical resources such as WordNet can also be incorporated into the graph. That's all. This is the end of our presentation. Thanks for hearing and your concerning.